Well, if the queue's in there anything to go by, the food we're about to eat right now is going to take us to another realm. I've got <laughs> That's dramatic, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think we mentioned this yet either. Iron brew. <laughs> Did I say it good? Nailed the accent. This is a Scottish drink, and it's a secret recipe, so I couldn't tell you what's in it. That bar, maybe? Oh, I've left a big nipple on there, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> I think we might have to apologize right now for what is going to be a video that I think might make you quite hungry. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, I'm just trying to think, maybe we've made five or six videos in Scotland so far and the food that we've had has almost surprised us I think maybe as much as the beaches and the coast and the beauty. I think so too, not only the food but the service as well. Quite hard to capture that on a vlog because you don't want to stick a camera in somebody's face That's while true. they're uh, doing their job but the service and the welcoming people have yeah. been out of this Everyone world. Everyone is so lovely, especially with a Scottish accent. There's something about that's it that's so a friendly. lot more charming. <laughs> yeah. Right, today is going to be a huge food day though. Can you remember everything yeah. that we've got planned? Starting off the day at a famous chocolate shop and then it will be famous fish and chips. I feel a theme coming on. Yeah, the famous <laughs> words. Uh, and then a local distillery and then we'll finish off the day with a really... Um, how would you describe it? It's like a six course. We'll take it up. Uh, taking menu. it up a gear, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. This place is called the Coco Tree Cafe, and they specialize in all sorts of different types of chocolate chocolate cake, little chocolates, hot chocolate brownies. We've asked what their two specialties are, and we've come up with the chocolate cake and the gluten free brownie. And I was just saying today, like, the best thing about being an adult is that you can um, decide whenever you want when you want to have a uh, chocolate <laughs> for breakfast. So first thing, the cake. That's amazing. It tastes really milky, like not milky. too, you know, not too, um, not too rich. I'm on brownie duty, which is not exactly a tough job. First thing in the morning. Mm. So I haven't tried the cake yet, but this is rich. But I think you can tell when it's legit because I can actually taste the cocoa. It's not just like pure sweetness. It tastes like proper, legit chocolate. As far as breakfast goes, I don't think you could really ask for anything better than that. It was absolutely delicious. Chocolate to start the day though was never going to be, was never going to be a challenge. Happy with that, babe? Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> they even, um, we even tried some of the hot chocolate in the end and it was... I think we got the milky one and it was so, so good. Yeah. So now though, it's time for some fish and chips. This is where we are now in Pit and Weem. We're going to head north along the East Newark villages to, I think it's pronounced Anstruther, to the fish bar. We hear it gets pretty busy there and it's already 12.07 so hopefully we can get some fish and chips. Fish and chips after our brownie. <laughs> <laughs> tell when you've made it here because you can smell when you've made it here. <laughs> <laughs> this actually is a legit little fishing village a few that we've been to in the last couple of days I feel like we've sort of called fishing villages but they probably weren't functioning anymore like they no. were yeah, this absolutely is we've just pulled up now to this is the award winner takeaway of the year four times best in Scotland Ooh. I'm making it seem like I know that but I'm literally just reading the sign as we cross the road here fish bar. Well, if the queue's in there anything to go by, the food we're about to eat right now is going to take us to another realm. I've got <laughs> That's <dead>. dramatic, isn't it? <laughs> it was too nice to eat inside though, so we've mm. taken, we've got takeaway and come down by uh, seaside. A bit of a view. We've got a nice view. I have to say, as New Zealanders, this is not a foreign thing to us. 
fish and chips. Fish for me. and chips we ate growing up all the time, so this is not. But they're not so much in adult life. Not so much in adult life, and not you know, I'm sure that this freshness mm. is gonna blow us away. But I just wanted to put that out there and be like, we're not trying to be like, whoa, fish and chips, it's so foreign no. to us. But it's it's Scottish, and they're, they're proud of it. So we've ordered exactly traditional specialty haddock and butter, and this is deep fried in their secret recipe. In batter, not butter. <laughs> Did I say butter? Oh, I can't read. <laughs> Someone's ba hungry. <laughs> batter. Although I have to say I did eat one of the chips and it was like... Good. I snuck it in while you were taking photos. <laughs> this is our little seaside picnic. Well, not little. We have a lot of food here. There's a lot of food. Chips. Fish and chips. I don't think we mentioned this yet either. Iron brew. <laughs> did I say it good? Nailed the accent. <laughs> this is a Scottish drink. It's a fizzy drink and it's a secret recipe, so I couldn't tell you what's in it. But I see people drinking it all the time. Mm, seems popular. So I'm curious. It's bright orange in there as well. Oh. So it kind of tastes a little bit like a combination between Fanta and Candy Floss. Now, I'm just going to go by hand. This is raw. Some people are going to be like, dude, don't pick it up with your fingers. But I just feel like... It's how you eat fish and chips. It feels like the right thing to do. Mmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, that is really nice. I normally find with, with fish and chips like this that the oil or the crispiness or the batter just kind of overtakes the, the flavor of the fish. And I actually love fish. I mean... Can you say something for me? Or? I'm just going to say that I think that that genuinely is probably the nicest fish that I've had. Sometimes I think you really just got to stop and appreciate just how crazy beautiful the scenes are that you're walking around in. Especially for us with cameras in our hands often you have to sometimes stop and just enjoy the view. We've got about two or three hours now before we go into the Tayport Distillery. So we're gonna let that food settle for a little while. Just enjoy this peacefulness of like walking around this little seaside town, scope it out for a little while. We've got to go back, get changed, get a little bit nicer because we're sort of slowly lifting the quality stakes in terms of the like uh, the environments that we're going into, the dress code as well. So we will see you very soon. We've just made it to the Tayport Distillery. We've done a little bit of reading before we got here because we wanted to be a little bit clued up about what they do. They make an eau de vie, which is a unique sort of liquor that maybe we'll let them explain a little bit more. But the thing that we like is that they use local produce. They apparently don't start with any sort of base liquor. They don't buy anything. They literally use the local produce, the local fruit, and then they distill everything and the whole process is done completely themselves but I'm sort of stealing the words a little bit we'll let them explain a little bit more once we go inside I've just met Keisha and Dan and we're gonna start with a little bit of a tour although to be fair we, we have to try some tasters <laughs> yes there's a whole bunch of different flavors and we'll explain a little you bit can more read them soon. Right there. oh here we go strawberry blueberry apple and raspberry they all sound incredible there's also a blackcurrant and a raspberry kind of liqueur as well that is the thing that we might get the chance to bottle if, if we, maybe if we behave ourselves, but we're not too sure yet. Eau de vie, rather than kind of any other spirit, so easiest way to describe that really is it's kind of like a fruit brandy. Um, you're taking neutral grain spirit, which is all local, uh, make sure everything comes from as close as possible really. We're about to try the strawberry. I just learned, I think an interesting fact is 700 grams of fruit goes into every bottle, and the bottle is 700 mils. So it's one gram per... How do you explain that? Per mil. Per mil. So it's healthy. Yes. yes. It's healthy. <laughs> oh, did Ooh, you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Well, that is really, it is actually mm. sweet. That goes down at So that's is, what is it, 40, 42%? I don't think it tastes like that's 42%. No. Because, it's of, very the, because of the sweetness and smooth. Alright. I did it! <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so now we've put on the tear strips, and we're gonna try. I didn't, this, this is awesome. I'm gonna put wax on down to about here, and then the tear strip is what allows you to pull it out. So I don't know that far, maybe. Perfect. And just spin. Spin. Yeah. And that's... So it's just getting off the excess. Which is. Oh, I've left a big nipple on there, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to take the stamp, which is a bluebird. Yeah. I might have left that too long. Sorry, press hard. It might work. Here we go. Nice. How's this for a setting? We've just arrived at the Newport restaurant. We're going to be having a six course tasting menu. We've had a welcome drink on arrival, a glass of what looks like champagne. Had our first kind of like uh, taster put down in front of us and I just, I can't get over this view. That was definitely the best food we've eaten in Scotland. I agree. That the restaurant wasn't the kind of place though that we wanted to stick a camera in our face because it was quite classy, but we wanted to just show how epic everything was presented anyway. And we can confirm that everything tasted just as good as it looked. <laughs> Not for your taste, that's mine. I feel like I'm gonna have to go fight that person on the <laughs> where they were. Well, I'll be there fighting as well because I think this is brilliant. <laughs> God, it is, okay? it is so tight. Oh. Wow. 